So, you want to attend an Appleseed Rifle Marksmanship Clinic. This is the course preview for Appleseed Prep. Now, attending an Appleseed is a good decision. Uh, it's a, a great course to take, very affordable, and you should do it before you attend any of the big marksmanship clinics like uh, Sig Sauer's Academy, Thunder Ranch, etc. Now, who should attend? Uh, anyone, uh, I've had students from ages 12 to 70, and I've seen uh, young kids as young as uh, 6 years old attend an apple seed. But uh, 12 on up is usually the best age group to, uh, to do well at an apple seed. Now one of the things we'll cover in the course to follow is the, uh, the rifle, the magazines, uh, the sling, and the ammunition that you should bring to the event and most importantly the setup of the rifle and the sighting system whether it's optics or iron sights uh, this will make uh, attending a two-day event so much easier far less frustrating and uh, much more beneficial to you to get the best advantage of the training we'll also cover do you bring a rim fire or a center fire and what range gear should you bring uh, to attend an apple seed and perhaps even more importantly, what not to bring. We'll also cover uh, safety uh, and uh, the, your arrival at the event, what to not do to just make things go a little smoother for you. Uh, uh, one of the lessons will cover all the range commands, so they'll be immediately familiar to you without having to, uh, you'll be drinking from a fire hose at an apple seed event, so if we can get some of these things out of the way, uh, knowing the range commands will make your life so much easier. Uh, we'll do a, a preview of, um, of the training from steady hold factors, six steps to firing the shot, uh, natural point of aim, key, uh, the tripod, the key tripod of good rifle marksmanship. We'll cover things to practice in advance of attending your first apple seed. And we'll also cover a few of the bad habits you should look at perhaps trying to break before you come to an apple seed. Another thing we'll cover is the clothing you should wear. We'll cover then also your, your body personal protection gear like your eyes, ears, and elbows. We'll cover sustenance, you know, water, food that you should bring to the event. And we'll go over a little bit over fitness. A few things you can do in advance of an apple seed to improve your ability to get into some of the positions that uh, on, the, on the firing line. And then perhaps most important, we'll cover the mindset that you need to bring to an Appleseed event. We want to leverage the effort that you put into this two-day event uh, to the best effect. We want to get the most benefit out of it that you can. And so that's what this preparation before you attend is all about. And then what do you do before the second day's event? So you've, attend you've attended day one. What do you do that evening to prepare yourself for day two? Some key things to work on there. And then also, what does it take to earn the rifleman patch? What does it take to earn this patch to become an ex to score expert on the Army Qualification Test or what's now called the Appleseed Qualification Test? And then also, uh, after you've uh, gotten more involved with uh, attending maybe an apple seed or two, we'll show you how to get uh, established a forum ID on the apple seed discussion forum. You'll find that very beneficial for your future with uh, developing your marksmanship skills. And then last is we'll discuss what you can do beyond getting your rifleman patch. And that's a preview of the, our course, Apple Seed Prep. So you want to tend on Appleseed. Uh, look forward to seeing you in course num uh, number one.